everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I am doing this video to give you my top five things that I look for when I go to a Goodwill outlet, thrift store, salvation type of store. So what are the top five things that I look for in no order in specifics, but these are the top five things that I am whoop, zeroed in on. This is what I want to see. Okay, so number one, one of the things that I look for, stuffed animals. This is a brand new Disney store Mickey. I'm gonna make probably $50 on it. I got it at the Goodwill outlet, which means it was weighed 99 cents a pound, maybe paid a couple of bucks for it. So stuffed animals in brand new clean condition, and the most important thing, having new with tags. Now think about it, when you go to the Disney store down in Orlando, you're gonna pay 70 to $80 for a stuffed animal this size. So wouldn't a person or a parent want to just go online on Amazon and pay 50 instead of 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars in the park? So stuffed animals clean in new condition. That's my first thing that I want to give you as a hint. Number two thing that I look for, vintage electronics, Walkmans. You may think they're out of date, cassette players, but people still use them. If they're in good working condition, you can get a $20 bill all day long. Now you may have to put it on eBay, but it's still a $20 bill. Another thing to look for, new old stock. This is a Kodak camera, the old Polaroid style. It's brand new, still in the package, um, never been used, and you can find these at thrift stores easily. So new old stock, vintage electronics. That's number two on the list, all right? Number three on the list that you're gonna wanna look for is board games. This looks like a chintzy child's game, correct? When you scan it, you, it's a $40 bill. So as long as all the parts are there, you can sell it in like new condition on Amazon or sell it on eBay. So some of the different games you're looking for, unique games are something you wanna look for as well. The pole game. So I'm gonna go through, make sure all the parts are here, but this is also a 20 or $30 bill um, for this um, vintage game. Here's another one. It's Monopoly, but for the Casey's uh, gas station. So Caseyopoly, um, it's unique. So I can try to sell it for around $20 or $30. May go on eBay, maybe on Amazon, depending on listing ability. But number three, vintage, uh, vintage board games and regular board games, because this one's actually a current one. So those are really, really good to look for as well. Number four thing that I look for when I'm looking through a thrift store, puzzles. Uh, one thing you have to, have to, have to look for in puzzles is they have to be new. So if it's a puzzle that has um, a top and a bottom, you're gonna look for the paper seam and make sure it's not been taped back together. And then with these, I'm actually able to open them up, flip them open, because they're just Velcroed, and they're still brand new in package, in the plastic, and so I know that they're new. So uh, being able to look through those and make sure it's a new puzzle, never ever sell used puzzles, that's just ridiculous. You're, you're obviously gonna be missing a piece. So um, making sure everything is included in puzzles. All right, so that's number four. Number five, fraternity or organizational things. This looks like a regular Bible, but if you zoom in close, you can see this has the Mason symbol on it. So Mason, Eastern Star, secret societies, things like that always sell really, really well. I expect to get about a $50 bill out of this book, even though it's even used, um, I can do that. So anything that has a specific club organizational name always sells really, really well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, stuffed animals, vintage electronics, board games, puzzles in new condition, fraternity or organizational type of things. And then my bonus that I have for you is junk drawer lots. So when you're totally striking out on a lot of those kinds of things, look for the miscellaneous things. Buckles, poker chips, you put them in a big lot on eBay and you're able to sell them. I'm going to do another video on what exactly I like to put in my junk drawer lots, but it's about a $10 bill that you can get every time you put a lot like this together. And I'll share another video with you, but I hope that's been super helpful. My top five thrift store, Goodwill Salvation Army type of stores the things that I like to look for. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.